Ooh. Oh, man. I'm going to be very hard-pressed not to take a Thassa pack one, pick one. This card just leads to so many fun, nonsensical things. There isn't even anything that good in here otherwise. Like, Sailor's fine, Squire's fine, Finality is fine. Yeah, it's just, it's just Thassa by Miles, I'm pretty sure. Thassa is also just literally, like, one of my favorite magic cards. Um, and now we're basically just going to be trying to draft some sort of bullshitty Blink deck. And I'm going to be very happy about it. Um, here I might just take the Watery Grave. I know that Yarok is in this cube, and there's if I can find a Yarok, I'm going to windmill slam a Yarok, because Thassa Yarok is just, like, actual the best thing in the world. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take the Watery Grave here. Path I've never been, like, amazingly impressed with generally. Ooh. Or would you think it did Rova Horror here? Kiza, I really hate that that's actually just, like, good gear and clever. Path with Thassa is good gear. I will absolutely grant you that. I think we're just thinking did Rova Horror. Did Rova Horror with Thassa sounds like kind of a beating. Um... That kind of sounds like a thing I'm interested in doing. Alternatively, I'd be taking, like, Hallowed Fountain, because be, we could be Bant Blink as well. But yeah, like, Dinrova Horror is a pretty sicko card to be blinking around. Um, Alright, what else we got? What else we got? Stab Wound? Not really. Like, wow, this pack dried up in a hurry. <laughs> like, Typhon is a fine card. Yeah, I don't really like any of these. These are all, like, very bad. I might just take Lord of Extinction, because if we do end up in Sultai, like, it's just kind of a beefcake. Um, yeah, so this is Lord of Extinction. It's the one that came in, like, the, like, it was one of the weird, like, not actually from Amonkhet, but they gave it Amonkhet art and put it in, oh yeah, because it was one of the invocations. Yeah, exactly. I actually think we are going to take it here. Um... Uh, let's see. Yeah, like, it's weird. The packs are not lending themselves to, like, a lot of blinky shenanigans right now. Unsummon is a consideration. Drown in the Lock is potentially okay. I don't think Vandals are I want to be at. I might just take the, sand the Sandbar here. At Anchor, thank you for continuing the sub. That is very nice. Does continuing... The Wait, what does continuing the sub mean... If you just got subbed. I'm a little bit confused about that. Does that mean you committed to another month or something? Because if so, that's freaking cool and I appreciate you. But I actually just like I'm not 100% sure what that means. Now that I think about it. So we can go unsummon because it has synergy with ETB creatures. Where I can just pay one to unsummon and get it back. We can go drown in the lock, which is like a fine card. Uh, I'm like not in love with any of these options. I guess we'll take drown in the lock. It's fine. Um... This is expensive, but this is another pretty solid one to blink with Thassa. So I think we're going to take that. Why are my converted mana costs so messed up right now? Like, really very messed up. Uh, we could go Chainer's Edict. I feel like I'm forcing a deck that's, like, not here. But I'm also, like... Oh, so you can get the first badge, but you have to voluntarily continue to sub within the same month. You got to get that cloud. I respect that. I respect that. Um, God, this pack again is like kind of unimpressive. I might just say Primal Empathy again. Like I was very impressed with it last time. Otherwise it's like Edict, which is so-so. Yeah, we'll just take the Empathy. I don't, I don't know what's happening right now. This draft is a little bit train wrecky at the moment. Lock near Serpent is not exactly where I want to be at. Maybe just that a statue as a removal spell. Where are my blink value creatures? I first pick a Thassa and this is what I get. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, I guess this is a blink creature. Uh, okay, Aven Eternal. Eternal Skylord. It's kind of a thing. Kind of thing. Okay, what is this curve? Like, like what? Like how? How do I sort by converted mana cost? Because like this is tilting me off the planet right now. 
Like, where is my sword by converted mana cost button? Tilt. Um, sure, I'll take a clock, I guess. Whatever, I guess. All right. Uh, so three drop, four drop, four drop, five out, five out. All right. I mean, at least my curve is a curve now. It's a pretty wonky curve. I don't, I don't know about this deck yet. We can definitely get there, but it's gonna need to work a little harder. Like, I guess. Um, this is fine. Like, if I was a smart person, I would probably just be, like, moving into a different color, but, like, I just really want to play a facet deck, you know? Um, you were not kidding, though. You were not kidding. Red is actually just hilariously open. Uh, I'm just going to cut the blue card, even though that card is really bad in my deck from the looks of things. It might. It, it just might, Karen. It just might. Um, okay, well, I got my Lonely Sandbar back anyway. That's actually not bad. I think people undervalue the Cycling Lands. Being able to just turn a late land draw into an extra card is, like, really nice. Like, one is so cheap. Blue does seem to be moderately open. It's just not really open in the way that I want it to be. But that's that's not anybody's fault but the drafts. And mine for forcing things that are not open. Or only partially open. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Should be doing it like this, I think. I always forget that the viewer experience is a little bit better when it's uh, on this. I do this when I'm looking at my own curve, but yeah, I don't want to make it unwatchable. Um, again, just going to cut a green card, keep passing red cards. We probably could have had a sweet mono red deck, but so be it. That sounds like less fun than Thassa Blinky nonsense. All I want in the world is a Garuda. Is that too much to ask? Can I get a Garuda? Um, no. I mean, it's like technically in my colors, but holy shit, no. Ooh, Baron's going to be hard to argue against. Baron is exactly the kind of thing you want to be doing with Thassa. Just mana war every turn? Hell yes. Thassa's actually pretty god-awful otherwise anyway. So yeah, we're going to windmill slam the Baron here. Um... Grackma didn't say please. There's a Tranquil Thicket, but we're not committed to green just yet. There's a Dreadhorde Invasion, which combos reasonably well with our Skylord and our Aven Eternal. We have like a weird like zombie army sub theme. Oh no, that's 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 not good. Sorry for your loss, Pete. Uh, I guess the filigree familiar is like kind of a thing. Sure, why not? Why not? I think I like that a little bit better than Dreadhorde Invasion. Mm. Cutthroat, not exactly the combo I'm looking for. Uh, like, Renata could be okay. It's pretty aggressively green, but it might be okay. It's, I think, better than anything else we're doing right now. Um, I'll sideboard it for now. I don't, I'm not sold on that. Yeah, I gotta be careful with them, um, with them split cards. Handle with care. Benthit is a card. Ooh, actually, Champion of Lambholt might be some good tech. Blinking creatures would wind up triggering the Lambholt multiple times. Like, Benthid is okay, but it's another 5-drop, and I like, don't really need more 5-drops. 
I could just be blue green blink splashing for like the Nenrova horror, and I think that would be just fine. I don't need to be playing the Lord of Extinction or anything. Yeah, I think I like that actually. I like that. That seems reasonable. So Bolus, abandon everything, go Bolus. That's a hell of a card to blink with a Fasa, let me tell you. Um 2-1 is fine. 2-1 is literally better than I've done with any of my attempts in that format, so good on you there. Um, I'm going to take it. I, I'm, I'm not committed to it because obviously like, it means we're ditching a bunch of other things, but like, Bolus is a very powerful magic card. So are we just Grixis Blinks instead? Like, pick up this Dragon Skull Summit now? There's a Mire Triton as well, but I think I, wanna, I want the Dragon Skull Summit if we're going to try to play a Nicol Bolus, I think. Might have been Wheel of Triton. It's not, like, incredible or anything. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like it might be a little bit better than a Burglar Rat. Just a bit. Um... So, like, let's move this to the sideboard. And this... And this. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing good, unfortunately, for us. Not much good. There is a blue-green land, which is definitely tempting. It's probably the correct pick, because we're definitely not locked into this bolus nonsense by any stretch of the imagination. 50? Yeah, I mean, 1.5k channel points. I think you get a bunch of channel points for uh, for Donos, which you've obviously been very generous about so far. Um, I will, yeah, I think my, my homework is going to be to, like, organize what my channel points are going to do, get them named and labeled and everything. Um, just asking out of curiosity, but does anybody know or can recommend any artists in terms of like people that do commission work for um uh for that kind of thing for emotes and and uh and sub badges and stuff? Because I have a very specific idea in mind, but I wasn't able to find anything that wasn't probably copyrighted that would fit the bill. And I definitely don't want to get smacked with a cease and desist or something and like get cancelled. Uh let's grab the temple here, although chromatic is tempting. Let's grab the temple, though. I like lands. Um, uh, yeah, it, mi it might have been better. It might have been more. Um, what do I want here? Necromancer. Definitely not infuriate. This pick is pretty meaningless. I'm going to take Wilt in case we still end up green. It's a fine card. Arson Nikki. Um, hang on, I'm like a little bit distracted right now, so I'm not fully focusing on what I, what uh, at anchor is saying right now. But I feel like it's relevant. When you say they do theirs, you mean their own? Um. Ooh, we got the temple back. Okay, we've got like actually a pretty good Grixis mana base now. Oh yeah, and the Sulfur Falls. All right, all right, we Grixis, we Grixis now. Ooh, do I take Crackling Drake then? Or is that like way too ambitious? That's a sweet one to blink. All right, uh, we're, we're trying this. This is going to be a glorious train wreck, but it is going to be, but but em emphasis on the glorious. Um, uh, is that playable? I don't know. I guess it's in my deck now. Golos. Golos like low-key fixes a lot of my problems. Quite literally, in fact. Yeah, I would say a Golos. Then maybe we like slide that green fixing back in. Hmm, thinking, thinking. I will answer all emote related questions after the draft because I don't want to make bad picks by mistake, but I would love to have a chat about that. So rest assured, chats will be had. Um, do I get, like, Scattered Groves now? The only land that I don't have any, like, a free roll on right now is white. I could take Scattered Groves and, like, really just lean into this Golos garbage. I think I like Scattered Groves here, yeah? I don't think 
Rokos is what I want to do. Back for more is a very powerful spell. Uh, I'd take Cryptic personally. I like Cryptic a lot, but that's a personal bias thing. So, like, obviously take that with a grain of salt. But if it was me, I would Windmill Slime the Cryptic. Obviously, I don't know what the other options are. There might be something I'd take over both of those. But between those two, I'd take Cryptic pretty much 95% of the time. Yeah, but, like, Bling Blue is fine. In my, in my, that, that's, that's the way I see it, anyway. Um, ooh, okay, so I can take the Beanstalk Giant for the fixing. But I don't think I'm going to, like, I think I'm going to be base Grixis, like, splashing green. Which means I maybe want the Acolyte of Affliction, because that's a good Blinky target. And it's not, and it's only also splashing green. Sailor of Memes is also a really good way to splash. So maybe I just take the Meme Sailor. Yeah, Sailor of Memes actually seems kind of good. Alright, I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm into it. I don't know what this deck do is doing right now, but whatever it is, I'm pretty sure the answer is something cool. Sailor of Memes for sure. I'm glad that I'm glad that my chat knows knows the uh I'm glad that my chat knows the uh the good stuff. Probably take Temple of Abandon here. Man, I would kill for a feel of the dead. Did we pass one in pack one? I don't remember, but I really hope we didn't. Um, putting... Where did it go? There's a land in here. Oh yeah, putting the Temple of Mystery back in for sure. Uh, okay, so we're basically just taking ETB cards and lands at this point. Um, is the plan. I guess this is technically an ETB card, but it's very expensive. But all I'm passing is a Glacial Fortress for it. Yeah, I'm here for it. Um, ooh, gonna be hard pressed not to take a Roger and Triumph here. Yeah. Feel of the Dead one time. Nobody tell me I passed it. Gary can't be good. I have like two black pips. We're taking Fibble Fib here for sure. That's a great little one for Thassa. Um, also, it's a two drop, of which I have apparently none. Um, let's see. I might just take the sensor. I think it's better than the, than the Safford. I mean, you're not wrong, I guess. Like, that is maths, but... There might be a subset of circumstances required for that. Uh, probably just going to take the treasure map. I think that card is quite good. And it also makes a bunch of treasures, notably, that might help fix for our, like, Golos nonsense. Yeah, let's take a treasure map. It's also just a two-drop, which is great. Oh, project. Um, this is uh not not a not a knock or anything. Just in terms of like, I, it's like something that people are still like getting used to. But if at all possible, I would encourage not using the word insane. Um, at least while you're in the chat here, just because it is ultimately a pretty ableist term. So, you know, absurd is usually the word I try to uh to substitute that for. It. Um, again, if if you slip, no big deal. But just wanted to point that out because it popped up there. Uh, what do I want here? That this Hierophant could be okay. Could just take an Essence Scatter too. Hierophant's not that good. I already have like a few fours. Yeah, let's just take an Essence Scatter. <sighs> All right, fine. You filthy animals. Are you happy? Um, I guess we'll chart. I don't know if I'm playing it yet. Uh, sure. All right, I don't know what's happening here. This is an abomination, but I'm kind of into it. Um, like we sure are doing some things here. We sure are doing some things. Uh, I'm, I actually think that Wilt does make the cut, just because I can cycle it at worst, and I have enough green sources that I can probably hit. Um, I also kind of like having Status Statue back in the deck now. And 
Do I just play, like, play the Lord of Extinction because it's just, like, a random beefcake? I've, like, a, like, I've got, like, the Carrion Grub for, like, self-mill on that. I kind of don't like the Hypnotic Spread. I might cut that. Let's see, do I like anything in here worse than I like, uh, the Big Stupid? Um, like, ironically, Carrion Grub may actually be worse than that. Yeah, this card is not good. Let's just play Big Dummy in here. Yeah. Let's just play the Big Dummy. Um... This is what we have. This is what we have. Why does it want four swamps? Do I just not have enough, like, swamp basics? Or, like, like black sources, I guess? I guess I really don't. <laughs> this deck is utterly nonsensical. Yeah, no, so we're getting the grub out. This one doesn't require you to reanimate. This this deck, this card just requires magic to happen. Cards will go to yards, and therefore Lord will get large. Um, but I agree that this card is pretty dopey. Ooh, that'd be dope. Do you have a palancron, I'm guessing, if that's what you're talking about? Because that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. Okay, so what are my, what are my cards? I have one two and then like i have like two actual green cards and like two half green cards although i am counting this more a statue than not but i also have like one two three four free green sources so i doubt i need a forest like i have nothing that land searches so like the basic like the off-color basics seem really bad um okay let's go for the for this so i definitely want a bunch of islands okay how many actual blue sources do i have one two three four five six so i definitely want a bunch of islands and then how many black cards do i have one two three four five six so i probably want some number of swamps and do i want any mountains i maybe want one mountain i have one two three four five six no i have six, seven free red sources yeah forget it no mountains no mountains, no forests, no plains. That's all for sure. So it's basically just been some mix of swamps and islands. And I'm pretty sure I have four land, six lands left to put in the deck. It's probably going to be like four islands, two swamps. Seems fine, I think. I don't need one of every basic for Golos because Golos doesn't care about basics, right? Like it just cares about getting the colors. And I have like a bajillion colors here. Like I'll be fine on Golos. Do not worry about that. This mana base will very nonsensically. Because remember, Golos doesn't just fetch basics. Um, Because Golos is... Pr it's very funny. I've it, Golos... I don't know if Cam is still here. Because I was talking about how much I love the Great Henge. Even though the Great Henge is admittedly a pretty egregious... Um, The Great Henge is a pretty egregious... Uh, I mean, you may have been thinking about Solemn Semi-Locker, to be fair. Which this is obviously inspired by. So, like, it's not totally unreasonable. Um, But yeah, Great Henge is probably a pretty bad design. Although I absolutely freaking love resolving that card it is legitimately one of my favorite cards to cast um one two three four and then one two i think that's gonna be fine golo's another one of those like i loki love this card because of how powerful it is but it is probably one of the worst designed magic cards i've seen in forever like it is so good at doing what it does at literally zero cost like it it costs you nothing to put this card in your deck and to try to like mize on it it's just it's just really good yeah we're almost at a new sub goal again i don't know what do i set it to after 10 is like 25 probably the next reasonable goal it's the ramp and the payoff and the dumb thing is that it also ramps into its own ability which is like just, like why why does that why is that a thing like like, there are so many knobs they could have turned on this card to, like, make it a little bit more reasonable. They could have made it just literally cost one of each color. Like, it could have been a Wooburg General instead of being a colorless card that you can put in anything. They could have made it only look for basics. They could have made the actual ability cost, like, double Wooburg, like, Progenitus style. That would have been harder to pull off. Like, there are so many ways that they could have balanced this, and they just were like, yeah, good enough. 
go ruin standard for a while and brawl, please. Um, and like, frankly, honestly, EDH. Like, I actually play a Golos deck, but um, actually, uh, okay, uh, the deck is done. Let's change the background. Let's change it to this. I like that one. Um, okay, there were two things. Even putting the land into your hand. Like, there are so many things you could have done to this card. So many things. Um, I love my Golos build. I genuinely, personally love my Golos build. But the fact that that deck is still just, like, really, really good, despite the fact that it is just as bad as I could possibly make it while still being a Golos deck is just a testament to how obscenely stupid that card is. The card was also in the same set as Field, yes. Yes, that is, that is in fact accurate. Um, again, questionable choices by design and, uh, and playtesting, etc, etc. Um, this deck was, I like, I am genuinely very sad we didn't find a Field of the Dead. This deck, if it had Field of the Dead, would have been absurd. Like, actually absurd. Um, as it is, I think it's actually still pretty good, assuming our mana doesn't, like, completely demolish us, but, you know, we'll see. Um... Um, I'm wondering if the Scattered Groves is necessary, but the nice thing about Scattered Groves is that it does cycle for two as well. So if I draw it and I already have a white source in play, then I can just cycle it away and that's fine. It's kind of the same with Rogren Triome. And then I actually have a use for all the other colors, because I was wondering, like, maybe I'm running too many non-basics, because they don't all need to be there, but I think it's just fine. Yeah, so my model, my Golos is what I refer to as a chromatic white Golos deck. Um... If you will indulge me, uh, chat, I will actually pull the list up so that we're not just, like, listening to me talk about a thing no one can see. Um, although it is not a... Actually, I can make a visual list out of it, so that'll actually be fine. Um, hello. Okay. And then I want to go to the... I think I want to go to the live edit. I think that's the feature that I want. Probably, maybe, hopefully, hello. Please stand by, experiencing internet technical difficulties, by which I mean this website is. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna bring that over here and then just pull up a uh, different scenes. So we can all see this. There we go. Um, so this is my Golos deck. Uh, spot spot the, uh, the thing that makes it Different than what you would probably expect a Golos deck to look like. Also, this is a terrible way to look at this deck. Um, so if you haven't figured it out yet, this is in fact a mono-white Golos deck. Or mostly mono-white, as, uh, as I call it. Which is the, hence the chromatic name. Because basically the stipulation that I created for myself in this was that no card in the deck uh, should be castable. Uh, should be uncastable with either white or colorless mana. Um, oh, that's fair, Project. That's actually a really, really good idea. I appreciate that. Here, I'm going to put that on my list along with uh, changing the subcommand. Add chat rules. I -E. Nice. Excellent. Appreciate that feedback. That is great. Um... Oh yes, and I could also post a link in the chat. That is that that that's the that's the big brain strats right there. Alright, link to my mono white Golos deck. So basically every card in the deck is castable either via colorless or white mana. Um there is actually just for funsies one hi like hybrid card basically. So I have um where is it? I have Cauldron Haze. Oh my god, this is actually the worst interface. I'm so sorry, this is terrible. Um, I hate it. I already hate it. I regret doing this. Um, you got 404 Ford. Why? Why did you get 404 Ford? That's sad. And I don't know why. Did anyone else get 404 Ford? Is this like a private list and it's like not fixed? It should be public, I think. Oh, this is, oh, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, it's, yeah, I sent you the, the, uh, the, the link to the version that I was editing. The version we're looking at right now should be fine. I'll actually just, I'll, it looks like Kieran figured it out, but I'll repost the actual proper, uh, 
I'll repost the actual proper link. Okay, it's been posted like six times. <laughs> Perfect. Um, but yeah, so my uh, my black white card is where um, is Cauldron Haze uh, because again, it's basically a blink deck. Um, uh, so I want to be abusing ETB abilities as much as possible. So Cauldron Haze, like, like if somebody wraths, all my stuff comes back uh, with persist, and I get the ETBs again. Um, I have. Archangel Avacyn, she's my Boros card, because of course the flip side is a red card, so this is a Boros card technically, but again, totally castable off of just white mana. Um, my green one is where... Oh, my green one is Emiel, uh, the one from the uh, the Jumpstart product. Again, it's basically another version of Eldrazi Displacer where I get to flicker things. This is for, uh, well, this is for Paper Commander, actually, um, but also MTGO Commander, technically speaking. Um, but it is not brawl. It is not a brawl list because it is a hundred cards, and it is all the cards in Magic except for instead of the only the ones on Arena. Um, I've got Yorion because, of course, again you can cast Yorion as a mono white card, and you know Yorion kind of the the uh, you know I do love my Sky Noodle and all the blinky shenanigans. Uh, why Urborg, you ask? Think about it. Think about it. Um. What does Urborg allow me to do that allows me to play within the constraints of the deck while still letting me activate Golos? So again, no mana symbols uh, on my lands. None of my lands can tap uh, have any mana symbols in them that are not white or colorless. That is one of the restrictions for the deck. Urborg, despite essentially being a swamp for all intents and purposes... Does not have a black mana symbol in it, which means I get to tap my lands for black, therefore helping activate Golos, without needing to put a black source in. Yeah, so basically, again, none of my lands get to tap for anything but white or colorless. Um, or, uh, but again, I can cheat with, like, uh, cards uh, with lands such as um, City of Brass. Because that one says add one mana of any color, but there are no colored pips on that, so I can do that. Um... So I can do that, uh, or like something like, um, God, where is it? Obviously, like the all-star here is Cascading Cataracts, where it adds Wooburg, but there is no Wooburg symbols anywhere on it, and so it's fair game. Um, so yeah, this is this this is my, like, literally I'm playing mono white EDH, but it's Golo, so it's still broken, basically. Um, and that is my, that is my sort of elaborate soapbox about why Golos is a stupid magic card, but also really, really fun to play. Um, yeah. Um, I feel like there was another story I wanted to tell after this, but I also don't remember what it was. Um, so, while I try to remember, we're going to hop in the queue and play this nonsense pile. Um, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Play first, I guess. This is a beautiful hand. This hand is perfect. Chef's kiss hand. This hand literally has all five colors in three lands. It's beautiful. <laughs> I even get to play a tier two Fibble Thip off of going turn one and Sulphur Falls into Swamp. Am I a genius? Did I break this format? <laughs> every time every time pre-release is probably hands down my favorite thing to do irl i mean i guess playing commander is probably pretty damn close but i adore playing in pre-releases i miss it so much i've actually i actually um am planning actually yeah with the number of subs i got like that's actually like a decent little amount of money uh, I'm planning on, um, I've been doing it every time, um, sorry, there's a reason I was referring to the subs and the money, uh, I'll get to that in a second, I'm kind of beating around the bush here, but, uh, 
Yeah, basically, I've taken to I've been buying uh, pre-release kits from my uh, local game store uh, at set release time, and I've been uh, building the sealed pools on stream. Actually, I've done that on stream pretty much for all the ones that I've been actively streaming during. Um, and then I've had a couple of my IRL friends uh, be uh, sort of join me uh, online via Discord, and we've played sort of like just like yeah, like a literal you know mini stay-at-home pre-release. Like obviously, there's no prizes or anything like that, but um but yeah no so we uh yeah so i've, I've actually still managed to continue pre-releasing even post uh post covid but yeah no uh project i forgot again you're new to the game pre-releases i really hope for your sake that we get to go back to doing those soon because pre-releases are like one of the best ways to learn how to play magic holy shit i get to play goals on turn five or on turn four this thing is great this thing is awesome i've got my rogren trium um or maybe I just get my temple. Because I don't have a green source yet. Maybe I would just want to... Yeah, let's get temple, actually. Get my scry on. Yeah, I'll keep a Skylord. Um, yeah, I'm going to get green here. That was, in fact, the correct thing to do. Thalmire Knight, hey? Man... I am, uh, as they say, playing chess while my opponent plays checkers. And I am okay with it. So play a 0-0 zero, zero Lord of Extinction? Hmm. <laughs> I would be very down, actually, to organize a... Uh, uh, like, uh, I mean, I, I was gonna say a sub thing, but I don't want to gatekeep. I'm not big enough that I'm gonna try to gatekeep on, on subs versus followers. It's not gonna be like I'm gonna get, like, a deluge of people. But I'd be extremely, um, extremely down to, uh, organize some sort of, like, you know, stream showdown pre-release thing. Obviously, everybody would need to commit to buying a pre-release kit for the, uh, for the set. Uh, so that, that would be at your own discretion, of course. But, but I would be extremely in to do that. Jesus Christ, Alex, you absolute savage. <laughs> Alright, one more land and I get to just activate Golo, so we're doing things here. No! Robbed. Okay, uh, I have six mana, so I can go familiar and then still hold up a didn't say please, I guess. I think I'd rather hold up the didn't say please. Um, then we can go to combat, and I'll just send a flyer. Yeah, that's fair. I get it. Um, like, I am very fortunate that I have a uh, significant other who is... Like, she's not... Like, she's actually, like, into enough nerdy stuff of her own that that's, like, not super shocking. But, yeah, basically, like... Uh... Like, yes, they can buy this back. I don't know. Do I just buy it? Like, this only literally buys me a turn. Because they actually have enough mana to buy it back. Which is, like, a little annoying. But uh, that might still be worth it. Just to, like, keep it off the board for now. Let's do that. It also notably powers up Lord of Extinction here. Yeah, no, I think generally speaking, this is fine um all right well we did it a land but unfortunately it wasn't in the way that i was hoping we would let's cycle this all right nice um see like this is just like a seven seven now like it was a zero zero like one turn ago and now it's just freaking enormous um Ship with both of these. We can probably just both trade and draw a card, but again, little than I know it's gonna grow. Sure, that's fine. Like annoying, but not the end of the world. All feeding the machine. Now I have a 1010, baby. Uh-huh. Nice Multani nerd.
All right, so they picked up the Multani, recasting the Multani. All right. Um, I guess I'll scry first. Gives me a slightly better shot at finding something sweet. Yeah, so I can bottom that. I guess the trade-off is I miss any lands that I hit off Golos, but whatever. Golos is so fun! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Meh, I have a 12 12. Uh, sure. I guess die to Nicol Bolas next turn? Question mark? Also, I can just, like, right click attack all next turn. That's a good card, I admittedly, but, like. I guess we're at 5 now virtually, but, like. Also, I get to flip Bolas next turn because this deck is sweet. Oh, they definitely did not stack those triggers correctly. To be fair, I also made that mistake, literally playing those same two cards last uh, last draft, but... Like, I'm not saying I broke the format, but I might have broken the format. Like, that was awesome. <laughs> Pay 7, cast 12? 11 mana worth of spells? <laughs> that deck looks really nice, Pete. I'm looking at that in the Discord right now. You did draft a very spicy pile, but yeah. You were definitely a high, like, oh man, like, High Tide Time Spiral is obviously just, like, the nut. I like, this is just some weird backdoor storm nonsense, but also there's, like, a Tide Spout Tyrant, because that's sweet. I hope you do well with this deck. This deck looks funny as hell. Um, oh, this hand is, like, actually just a real hand. This hand just looks like a reasonable Grixis Control hand. Um... Kieran, I'm unclear as to what your issue with what Marwitch is saying. I'm not saying that there's not a valid issue, but I just I'm not actually seeing the issue personally. So I would love to know just so we can address that because I'm a little confused about it. Um, because like I can I can state with almost utter certainty that whatever was intent whatever whatever the issue was was not intended. But, obviously, again, good to clear these sort of things up. Um, okay, what are we doing here? Island, I guess. I'll probably just ask and scatter anything reasonable. I can see there being some sort of, like, implications of non-consent there, which are admittedly perhaps an issue. Um, I'm gonna keep that on top, I think. We're pretty good at casting that. Uh, nope. Only I get to do that. Um... Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I will say that that's probably, like, pushing it a little bit, but I'm also, like, maybe not the person that should be making that statement. If it made you uncomfortable, then, like, fair enough, and, like, Alex, I'm sure that, like, you're, like, like you know, able to cope with that, and that's not a big deal, so that's fine. Um, duly noted. Yeah, no, I don't think that that's an entirely unreasonable take to, uh, to have. Oh, just, um, just the way that Marwich phrased something had, again, like, implications of non-consent, which, you know, obviously we're going to try to avoid here. Um, if at all possible. So, yeah, I think that, I think that was all. Again, I, 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 I can, I'm fairly confident in stating that I don't believe any harm was intended, but yeah, you gotta be careful.
Yeah, a small a small yikes. Small yikes is probably a good way of placing that. Um, how do we want to do this? Do I want to just didn't rove a horror? How do we just want to didn't rove a horror the song? Actually, yeah, didn't rove a horror in the song is actually fine because it also takes away their blue fixing for the turn, or at least like forces them to spend two additional mana to get blue fixing again. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And of course, she was never asking for it, being the uh, being the sort of logical conclusion of that statement. I think that in the context of what was said, it was probably fine, but yeah, not wor worth flagging and pointing out, certainly. Sifter Worm. All right, well, we're going to set a statue that, I think. That is too large to live. Opponent deep in the tank on this scry three. La Wait, did they go three top or three bottom? They went one top, three bottom. Revealing a Blade Juggler to gain five. I didn't even know Blade Juggler was in this format. That's like actually kind of a cool card. Um, okay, this is going to play untapped. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can status statue and then still hold up a sensor if it's relevant. That's pretty hot. Not super interested in sending my 4 4 to die against the 1 1 here, so we'll just keep chipping with the 1. That is probably true. I'm actually, like, I'm actually also technically French Canadian, although raised in Ontario, but my mom's from Montreal. I don't, I'm actually struggling to come up with what the French, like, French Canadian equivalent of that expression would be. Interesting attack. Um, but, but I'm, but I'm, because I, I believe that it exists, but I just don't know that I've actually heard it. Um, if it does. Not that I'm really interested in finding out either way. It's not a, like, I'm also just kind of game to move on from, uh. Oh, I guess that's what they wanted to do. They just wanted the cheap blade juggler. I mean, that's fair enough, I guess. It doesn't mean that I get to just attack with the 4 4 next this turn, though. Um. Yeah, I think we've definitely addressed this suitably, so I, I'd like us to move on from that now. Um. Oh, damn. They can actually still pay for that? That's really awkward. I do speak French. Yeah, fluently, actually. Um, it is. On my birth certificate, anyway, my first language, but that's mostly just my mom being my mom. Um, oh, I definitely meant to censor, or cycle the censor there, but oh well. Um, I guess I get to keep it up again, although it is obviously rapidly decreasing in value as the game progresses. You know what? I did not make that uh, that um, that connection, but that actually makes sense. Pojet, okay, sure. Okay, that's actually really funny. Yeah, I totally missed that, but that makes a lot of sense. I was actually wondering, because I was like, oh, maybe the C is omitted for some specific reason or whatever, but uh, that actually just makes sense. That's really funny. Kind of cool, actually. Whoa, okay, what is your last card, OP? I'm a little scared now, not gonna lie. Um, definitely fine making this attack. If they want to double block with the juggler and the Solvala, I will just eat the Solvala. Yeah, that's fine. Uh-huh. Oh yes, you do love to see it. You do love to see it. They went for the max greed and got real punished for it. Can I flip this thing? Holy shit, I think I can. All right, well, let's attack with it first. Ooh. 
Um. God, he starts on seven loyalty. Like, what the shit? Alright, what's in the yards? Oh, I can get back Sifter Worm or Golos? Oh my god. It must be my birthday. Oh, this is so good. I could get back Horror, Sifter Worm, Golos. There are so many things I could get back right now. Loki, I just really want to get back Golos, though. So, like, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think that's a, like, again, Alex, I, uh, like, there were definitely no assumptions of wrongdoing there. But I think it's also fair to say that just avoid using it for future reference as well, right? Um. But no, I mean, I, I know you and I know that that's certainly not the kind of thing that you're even remotely close to be doing. Uh, whatever, I can put this on the bottom, I don't really need that. And play this as our white source. Now we can just activate Golos next turn. We're easily protecting our Nicol Bolas, barring them having something silly here. All right, OP, what you got? Two cards to stop. Like, they need to basically solve the Bolas problem and the Golos problem. Although, in theory, if they have a kill spell for Bolus, No, 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 because then I can still just block the 3-2 with Sailor of Means. They can probably solve one of the problems here, but not both. Yeah, that's annoying, but fine. Um, yeah, so now I get to just do this. So I get to plus two to draw some cards here. <laughs> oh god, this deck is so good! Oh man, I have exactly enough mana to just go Golos plus Fasa. Um, sure. Opponent, you may move to scoop phase anytime you wish. Uh, no attacks. <laughs> oh man, this is the freaking coolest deck. I'm so in love with it. Just utter Golos nonsense pile. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Golos is so unreasonable. Golos is actually just not reasonable. Um, so Golos was the uh, the artifact, the 3-5 that I played. Um, mm, 6 out of 10, Hannah. 6 out of 10. Golos is a 3-mana three 3-5 three that when it ETBs, it costs 5 generic mana. When it ETBs, you can look for any land in your deck and put it directly into play. No restriction on what kind of land. And then for 7 mana, including one of each color, you can look at the top 3 cards of your deck and play all, as many of them as you want without paying any additional mana. Um... Damn it! Wait, I gave her better than a 5 out of 7? Crap! You got me this time. You got me this time. Damn it. Alright. Uh, once again, this just looks like a perfectly... Well, this is maybe suspect, but otherwise like a reasonable hand. We are really going to hope to draw land, but I also am... Like, the sensor might just be able to cycle into land, so we'll see. We will see. Oh, just about dropped a bunch of water all over my ship. Bad plan. Bad plan. All right, opponent on a plane strategy. Hmm. <laughs> I will probably cycle the sensor EOT here if they don't show me something I can sensor. Uh, do I want to sensor that? No, I really don't. 
That is a very low value sensor target. I could have, yeah, like countering that in any respect is just not great. Okay, drill land, love to see it. Love to see it. So now I can hold up Wilt Cycle or Essence Scatter as needed. Um, oh, the one that like taps all the stuff to put counters on it or whatever, Alex? That card is cool, but not better than Nellish Norn, certainly. Alright. Take one. I mean, again, I will probably just cycle the Wilt unless they play a 3 or a 4 drop that I'm worried about. They did not, so let's just cycle this, try to find a land drop. Forecastable. I'll take, like, a Sailor of Memes here or whatever. That works, too. That also works, too. I'm alarmingly close to being able to cast this Crackling Drake off of my garbage mana base. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Uh, I'm going to play the Scattered Groves here just because they need to be taps and I have no playable 4 drop anyway. Um, no. Not a lot. Getting to counter a god feels pretty good there, actually. Oh, Thorn Mammoth! Right! That card is sweet, to be honest. But, fair enough, it's also, like, very dirtily. Uh, okay, well. I get to cast all of my hand now. Like, that was... Uh, no, that's not true. Gary is still locked under a single black, but the rest of my hand is castable next turn. So that's pretty cool. We also get to run the sweet play of Dinrova Horror, bounce a token, and you slot the discard a card. Which is pretty hot. Sure. Ooh, that card's... That card's scary. That card is scary. Um... Do I want to get rid of something first? Yeah, let's affection it in Drake, actually. Get rid of the uh, Patrician. Yeah, let's get rid of the Patrician here. Oh, uh, if that was a joke, I absolutely missed it. I'm sorry, at Anchor. Bloodlord. Okay, so my opponent is all in on the life gain strats, then. This is a very aggressive attack. They're gonna get a bat. No denying that. Mm hmm. Okay, so you're gonna go Temple of Malice. Uh, I can probably bottom the land at this point. I'm gonna go Dinrova Horror, bounce your bat. And they have to discard a card. Shore Shark is a very funny card for sure. Force Spike to Crop Rot. Man, yeah, the the shame I could have paid for this spike, but I didn't, is never where you want to be at, certainly. We may yet lose this game. My opponent's deck. This is the first like synergy deck that we've played against, and my opponent is definitely doing the thing. Um I think next turn I'm gonna be playing the Crackling Drake. Um, because that puts up a pretty beefy flyer to deal with the Bloodlord. Conrad is scary. Conrad is very scary. Uh, yep. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to stop attacking here, which is annoying. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's... Yeah, that's fine. Let's use me to tap that. Ooh, nice. That's actually a really sweet draw. Okay, so we get to go... Island... Baron... Bounce the bat again. 
Um, but now I'm definitely just going to hold the fort. Noble. Ooh, that's not good. Jesus. Wait, am I just dead? Am I dead to, like, Conrad plus Noble here? Probably. Did not do the maths, but I'm expecting the maths are not good for me. Uh, okay, what can I... What am I supposed to do here? Let's... Block, 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 block. This probably kills me, but I'm gonna mill. Oh shit, I had a creature. Okay, I think that, that does kill me now, unfortunately. Because I think it's three Conrad triggers and then, yeah. Oh, maybe less, maybe less, maybe less. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. No, I'm dead. Damn, yeah, my opponent got there. there this deck is sweet. I absolutely accept losing to this deck. This this is what a synergy deck should look like. This is just actually a really nice looking deck. Um, I'm still going to try to beat them, obviously, but but this is a very reasonable thing my opponent was doing there. Oh yeah. See, okay, there we go. There we go. That that was a good one. That was that was that was a good one, Hannah. I'll absolutely grant you that. All right. The best part about this deck is I don't even need the sideboard. The deck's already perfect, so you can just click the submit button and wait for your opponent. Oh, still grim as in pilgrim. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Not your best effort, not your best effort. Synergy's Louise is much better. Um, Yeah, this looks pretty real. This hand looks pretty real. Uh, I actually get to cast this with an extra land, but I feel like that's probably not necessary. Sure. It actually occurs to me that I have... Oh, no, that's not true. I do have a couple of... I have at least one land type force. But this Ruben Greg probably comes into play tapped a lot. Um, Let's censor that. I don't need them just having free life gain every turn. Hey, speak of the devil. Oh, my Ruben Greg comes in untapped. Wait, what do you mean? What is it not? I don't get it. What's the right play? Oh, like when it comes together, it doesn't actually come together in the way that like it act Oh yeah, like the two weird things at the bot. Yeah. Well, now it does. You jerk. Now it annoys me. Um Uh, ooh, okay, so, red, red, blue, blue, I might actually get the cycle, this Rogren Triome, that's kind of hot, let's keep that on top, let's keep that on top. I feel like a good way to keep my opponent neuter is to just take away their passive life gain synergies, because that's kind of what they owned us with last game. So I won't be able to cast Dragon next turn. Drake, I guess, but yeah. So let's cycle this. Um, ooh, not a bad draw, not a bad draw. Uh, so we can go Clock into Tapped Grave. I guess, I play, I guess I could have played an untapped land to just get an extra counter on the Midnight Clock, but I also feel like preserving my life total long term is important and i don't know if i'm gonna i don't know if i would have needed to do that 
Wow, they really did it. Their deck looks nice. They have, like, all of the freaking Soul Warden effects. However, however, we also kind of really did it. They're going to get to draw a card here. I genuinely believe it was more important to kill the Priest of Forgotten Gods, just as a side note. Um, if anyone's wondering why... Or sorry, I think it was more important to kill the Soul Warden, not the Priest. If anyone is wondering why I did that. Because again, all that passive life gain stuff, it really, really is like adds up. Sure... Do you activate and just sack both? That can't be right. Wow, they really did. Okay. I think that's, like, fine for me long term. Like, yeah, I'll sack my dude, but, like, I don't know. I think that that's okay. Like, they basically just, like, sort of two for one themselves. I guess they get to draw a card. Ooh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad as a, as a comeback. Um, that's also not bad. So what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Let's... Let's then Rova Horror... The Erebos. Six, seven, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that phrasing was maybe a little uh, off. You know what I meant. Yeah, like I'm fine basically just time walking my opponent there. That's like pretty reasonable. Ooh. That's actually a nice little draw. Do I have enough mana to do both of those things though? I probably do, right? I actually do the math here. So, red, red. Yeah, I do. Nice. Blue. Blue. Cast Drake. Uh, so cast Trot, of course. Uh, yeah, because I might find a tap land that I'd rather play. Okay, some point. Uh, do I want Fibble at the Lost? It is like decent fodder against the Priest of Forgotten Gods. It gives me, like, a random crappy creature that I can kill. Although it does also just insta-die to Erebo, so maybe that's not a good reason. Yeah, let's bottom that. We can do better, I think. So when does this get bigger? Whenever you gain life, put a counter on it. Okay. But they don't currently appear to have any real ways of doing that, from what I can tell. Oh dear, that's scary, to say the least. All right, well, we're gonna take some Damagios here. Nope, don't do that. Um, yep, yeah, we'll take five. Hmm. Are right, you gonna sack things post combat? Refinery. Okay. How dare you use my own card against me? Not bad. 
But it does stop like the next dumb thing that happens. I get to do this. Go find a scry land. Do I have any scry lands left? I might, I might not. Yeah, I do have a scry land left. Let's go get a sulfur fall or a temple of malice is what I meant. Um, and let's see what's on top. Uh, nope, certainly bottoming that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dotex. Your turn. We are up against it. Like, the Blood Artist really, really, really puts the pressure on. But, again, there's not going to be a whole lot I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, indulging Patrician. So the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life, I lose. Oh, Jesus, that just helixes me. Or, well, technically not really a helix, but like some back way, backwards helix. They've tapped out a black to do that once again. Yeah, I think I have to sacrifice or counter that. That feels like between the Blood Artist, that, and like Erebos beating me in for six every turn, that's going to be pretty tough to beat. My opponent drafted a really cool deck. I might try to draft this deck next. Alright, so do I block? So blocking... I mean, I obviously lose less life blocking. Uh, yeah, I think this is correct. I get to do Golos things next turn, probably. Hey, buddy. And maybe said Golos things get me out of this bind. I can, if I can get rid of the Bloodthirsty Aerialist, I will get to deactivate the go the uh, the Arabos, which will be nice. I, yeah, I mean, obviously my opponent can... Like, they've still got three cards. Like, there's probably cards that they have that they can use to get rid of Golos. I don't know if that, like, exile a creature, give them a 4-4 four, four angel card is in this format. I'm going to sack the Drake if they activate the Priest. That's a very, very, very easy decision. Wow, they really went for it, eh? So, yeah, I mean, they're gonna get to dome me a bunch here. Um, I will sacrifice this. They'll get a griffin, because they've now gained more than three life. Or maybe exactly three. Some amount of life that is meeting the condition. Hello? I put it deep in the tank. Battery disconnected. Am I still broadcasting? Nope. Okay, no, they're actually just taking a long time. I was worried that, like, my internet died or something there. Um, God damn it, Conrad, really? So, as much as I- Jesus Christ, it's a 21-21. As much as I'm really tempted to play this, the problem is that if I did, it would actually just insta-die because Midnight Clock's gonna reshuffle- Oh, no, no, it wouldn't insta-die because it's only my stuff. So maybe that's actually fine. Question mark. Let's activate Golos first, one way or the other, I think. Okay, that's not bad. So I can drown in the lock, targeting the Conrad. That's pretty strong. Then I get to do this. I'm one short of playing the Lord of Extinction, which is a bit of a damn shame, but so be it. Um... 
kind of have a bad feeling about this, but also maybe it's fine. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. I'm definitely not feeling in a great position being at six against like Priest. And like, also I'm at a virtual four, obviously. I'm actually really at a virtual two for all intents and purposes. So it's not going to be super difficult for my opponent to find some combination of cards to deal two damage to me. But if I get to untap next turn with like a bunch of lands in play and a fresh seven, then like, I don't know, that's got to be okay. That's got to be okay. All right, Nighthawk Scavenger is not the solution. Like, it's good, but that doesn't kill me this turn. Do they, uh, how much black mana do they have? Black pips do they have? One, two, three, four. So they are one black pip away from attacking me with Erebos this turn, and that would be bad. That would certainly be bad. Banishing Light? Are they targeting my clock? That would suck. Are they just going for the... Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So they are doing that. So I'm going to take three here, I guess, is what it looks like. Um... What are you doing, cat? Scully, what are you doing? There we go. It's like attacking a cardboard box for a particular reason. Oh, they do want me to go to two here. Interesting. Um, is there any merit in doing this now? Like, it'll happen just passively there. Uh, I guess I'll put a stop on my upkeep here. A lot of blue in case that matters. Ooh. Wow, it really does matter. Holy crap. Okay. So Okay, what do I what do I get to do here? Um, okay, we're definitely gonna do No, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Control Z. Let's tap this for the green. And then I get the blow up Banishing Light, which means I get Golos back. Which means I then get to search again, take action, and let's put the Sulfur Falls into play. Go to draw step. Um. Do I have enough to Dinrova, Horror, and Baron? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I do. That's huge. Okay. So, one, two, uh, three. Wait. Oh, damn it. I'm somehow in my draw step right now. Main. Uh, my bad, OP. Whatever. I'll use my time extensions. That's what they're there for. Um, let's bounce this to back to hand. Brawly does actually play quite quickly. It's actually not true. I've definitely seen Brawl videos where he goes on to rope. But yeah, I will rope I don't know that often on Arena, actually. Arena's probably, I rope way more, well, rope. Um, like, I go to time more on, um, oh yeah, don't worry about it. Live your life, right? Um, but yeah, no, I will probably go to time more than Riley will, but yeah, it's, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I rope that much on Arena, generally speaking, but I'm, like, obviously pretty up against it here, so. My opponent, I think, is, like, really tanking on whether or not they want to activate the priest in response. Oh, that was the oops. That was the oops. Because they should have activated Priest in response to me casting Baron. Um, so that I would be forced to sacrifice the Golos. Now I can just sacrifice the Baron, which is obviously much worse for my opponent. Oh, 
My opponent just salt roping me, or are they just like mad that I went to rope there for a bit? I don't know. This is kind of weird. I feel like what's happening here is fine. Are they just straight up roping me? We still have a game to play, right? You realize that opponent? Like. Okay, sure. Now if I did Robo Horror. Bounce this. And then play a land. Okay, okay, okay. We haven't died yet. We have not died yet. Okay. They got rid of Regal Bloodlord, I accept. One, two, three, four. So we're still a black pip away from anything super meaningful happening here. Are we stabilizing? Have we done it? Have we done it? Path of Bravery. Okay. Okay, that doesn't do anything, I don't think. Um, this still leaves me with double black, so I can go... Yeah, so we're going to go Lord of Extinction into Grey Merchant. This Grey Merchant, we're going to get our four pips worth, Kieran. This, is, this one's for you, Kieran. This one's for you, buddy. Grey Merchant for four. Going all the way up to eight. My opponent down to five. Um, I'll play a Feeble Hip. Ooh, I almost got to cast that. That would have been hype. Um, do I want to send with the goals or just with the horror? I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay trading either of these cards for the scavenger at this point. The goals is very good, but like, so is Lord of Extinction. So I think this is fine. And obviously this is a forced block because they will take lethal if they don't block with something. Okay. Okay. Wow, they're actually just blocking both? That's absurd. Oh, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. Okay, no, that's actually, that's actually kind of clever. Ultimately, I don't think it's going to be super helpful to them. Um, okay. It does take them a little bit further away from killing me, though. I think we still win here. I'm pretty sure we still win here. I got a little scary. I did forget about the other ability on the Erebos momentarily, but that was relevant there. Okay. So they go to six. I go to four. They go to ten. Then they make a two-two. Aha! I think, ladies and gentlemen, we have found lethal. Um, so there are ten. What do they have? You know what? I just I kinda just want to get rid of this. Wait. 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 Yes, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Okay. They did just get to draw a card here. They go to eight, but like, I also just like have a little picture. Looking for another ant. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Game three we go. Whoo, baby. Whoo, baby. This is for the 3 0 again. All right, can we do it? Playing against my opponent's extremely good. Wait, at anchor, why did you just lose your first badge? I'm confused. Or are you like signed in somewhere else and now it's confused? That's weird. Um, but okay. Um, this is gonna be a tough fight. This is gonna be a tough fight. My opponent's got some pretty strong cards. Oh no, it's back now. Literally just the comment where you wrote all right didn't have a first badge. 
but it was there but it's it, but it's back on i can see it so i don't know that was strange um a little glitch in the matrix there i guess but whatever Alright, so my opponent gets me on the play, and like, damn, their deck is really, really good. Like, I will, again, I will not be upset if I lose to my opponent. Like, their deck is legitimately very, very good. Um, oh, 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 you love to see it. This is a nice hand. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. This is a nice hand. So I get to go Island next turn. Oh, I won't be able to hold up Drone and Lock, but Drone and Lock also not looking super great. And it'll only get better as time goes on anyway. So you go Island here so that I can Baron next turn, and then I can go Swamp Fasa, and then I might get to go Golos following that. Quite likely. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna bounce, uh, I'm just gonna bounce Baron here just for value. Like, it just tempos them. They've also only shown us one white source, so it locks their white source up next turn if they want to recast that. Oh, Thassa Baron is going to be pretty un annoying for my opponent to have to deal with. Can you pause on free? <laughs> um, yes, I suppose. That is fine. Uh, no attacks. Bounce Baron. Get out of here. T -t -t tempo. No, my Golos. They're definitely just taking Golos here. No. The dream. It was, a too, it was the dream was too beautiful. The dream was too beautiful. Oh, and I'm like one turn off of getting to do that. Oh man, that's so sad. That is so sad. Where's Alexa? Uh, no attacks. Uh, I could play the treasure map here, but I'd much rather just hold up Drone and Lock plus Essence Scatter. Because I'm actually going to get to counter the Nighthawk Scavenger here. On the bright side, we didn't draw land, so at least the Golos didn't wind up mattering too much. Yeah, two cards in their yard. Absolutely not. <laughs> we got there, ladies and gentlemen. We got there. Yeah, you can post an 03 06. That's like kind of a weird flex. I should probably create a weird flex uh, folder, honestly. I have that in another one. But basically, weird flex is where you just brag about whatever you feel like bragging, even if it's a very dubious brag. Hot damn, that was fun. Hey, thanks for the bits at anchor. I appreciate the little cheer there. I appreciate the cheer. I also really like that sound effect. That is a sweet whale sound effect. This deck was oh i didn't actually save it this was the previous deck Ooh, all right well i gotta i gotta go into add to decks then so i can save it we can't I, I can't believe i didn't even highlight this i was just so confident that we were gonna get there i knew it was gonna be fine i knew it was gonna be fine um oh also i'm a big stupid and i can refund you your bits if you want i might have just faked news this i thought that we were on i thought that was our third match but I might have just fake news that. We could still lose and go 2-1. But we did win this match, which is hype. I'll refund your bits if you want, though. Because I feel like that might have been... I might have baited you into thinking we'd gone 3-0. And in fact, we didn't. Now I kind of feel bad about it. Oh, okay, fair enough. If that's all you were cheering for, then we in fact did do that. And I appreciate the cheer nonetheless. I legitimately did think we were done the league, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, these matches have been... Very drawn out and very intense. This might be the first, like, full-on just this hand is terrible mulligan. Like, yes, I can cycle a wilt, but, like, I don't know where I'm going after that. Let's mulligan this. I think we can do better. Um, Yeah, this hand is actually just better. Uh, so we're going to keep six, and I'm going to throw... Uh, we're going to throw Gary back. Uh, I'm gonna keep that on top, I think, actually. 
Yeah, that's a sec that's my second blue source. I don't love obviously playing in the lonely, a lonely sandbar when I could just cycle it, but I have a bunch like I have two, multiple double blue spells in hand right now, so pretty happy about that, generally speaking. Um. So what do I want to do here? I could just play with the Eternal, but I like Loki kind of want to didn't say please. I don't know what my opponent's up to. I feel like just yeeting the Eternal out into two open mana is just asking myself to get like Essence scattered or whatever. And I and I do have a couple of relevant plays that I'm holding up right now, so I'm not super obliged. Oh man, my opponent knows the power. My opponent knows the power of the memes. Um, do I just counter this for like tempo reasons? Probably not. Probably not. I think I'm just going to cycle the wilt here. I could, again, also do that, but I think just drawing, yeah, drawing the extra card here felt much better. Um, all right, so let's go Temple of Abandon. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll keep a Temple of Epiphany on top, too. That's actually my second red source for, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, so my opponent is up to five mana next turn. Does that mean I want to keep up Didency, please? Haven Eternal is not a particularly convincing threat against... Like, it doesn't do anything about a 1-4. So I think we're just going to chill. I still don't know what's happening. I still don't know what's happening, so... I'd rather just hold up the Didency, please. So my opponent just looks banned, but again, Treasure could be a weird off-color splash. Could not be. Um... Hey, thanks for the biddies. I appreciate that. Um, do I didn't say please this? Probably. It denies them the death trigger and the uh, other trigger. Ooh, there's a Fauna Shaman. I don't know that I learned much more about them this turn, but that's a thing at least. Ooh, my own memes? I don't think I actually want the memes here. They don't seem necessary. And the question is, now I think I just do play the Aven Eternal, because, like, bouncing Sailor means doesn't seem super strong. So I think I'd rather just do this. And the next turn I can have a Dinrova Horror turn if I want to, or a Baron turn, depending on what happens. But yeah, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Hehehehe. <laughs> Um, okay. So this says, as long as I control an illusion. Okay, so I'd have to get rid of both, which is not ideal. I might still... I'm probably still going to bounce an illusion, because it still forces them to discard. Um, which I think is, like, probably worth. So yeah, let's pay the two life. Let's then Rova. It's always nice when you can get something off the board... And then they have to make an actual, like, they actually have, like, they're, like, so they're down two things. Like, the Dinrova 2 for 1 always feels great. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Ooh, that's value. Can't, all right, all right, all right, all right. My opponent's, my opponent's doing some spicy things. I mean, if you're going to discard, discarding a, uh... A jumpstart card is not bad. Alright, so... I can Baron the following turn, although they might just Quasi the Benthid, which would be pretty good. Ooh, Champion. The Champion of Wits. Alright, 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 alright. Some value. My opponent is also doing value things. I would not be surprised to see a fast side in my opponent's deck. That definitely seems like the kind of card they might have here. Also, I will snap double block if my opponent attacks with a benefit here, but I also don't expect them to do that. Warrant and Thrashing Bronte. Okay, okay. Uh, so let's... Yeah, this is a nice little mana efficient turn. In Baron. Uh, bouncing the Benthid. And then I get to go Treasure Map. I get to go land for turn, and now I can still activate the map, which is pretty good. And I get to fly over for one. 
Now Golos has all the mana he needs. Skylord, huh? But... Yeah, my opponent's actually doing like fairly similar things to what I'm doing, frankly. Um, all right, all right, all right. Attacks? Yes, no, maybe. All right, let's. Um, let me just go into full control here. Uh, we're gonna bottom a swamp here. Uh oh. Well, apparently I didn't full control fast enough, because I was definitely trying to full control before my draw step. Alas. Um, Alright, well, let's Temple of Malice then. Like, almost certainly would have bottomed that. Like, would much rather have that in my hand right now, if we're being honest. But, what can you do? Uh, let's bottom that, because I'm going to try to... I want to scry anyway, so I kind of want to get my scry value going here. Um... I'm going to attack for two, and the reason I'm doing that is because if they decide to quasi-duplicate... Oh, that's an interesting attack. Sure. I was going to say, because the reason is if they decide to quasi-duplicate the uh, the Skylord, then I can't actually... Um, I can't block the 4-4 that would be created by doing that. So I may as well attack while it's actually a trade. And I am, in fact, fine with that having been a trade. Um, okay, I'm going to get off full control, but what I am going to do is stop on my own upkeep here to get the, uh, the flip from treasure map over two turns if I need to oh my god don't even talk to me no why why fine what? boo opponent opponent doesn't like fun I was so close to drawing cards at least I got this scry away a bunch of garbage that's not bad yeah no my god Honestly, I'm like very, very thankful. Oh, there's the Thassa. There's the Thassa. I did call it. I did call it. Um, all right. Bent that it is. Bent that it is. Jeez, and she's active. All right. Draw step needs to kind of be big here. Not big enough by a long shot. All right. Yeah, um, I've gotten a couple of those points. Um, yesterday I was actually losing my mind. If you want to watch a like, if you want to watch a person just slowly descend into madness, watch the last couple hours of my stream yesterday, uh, Hannah. It was harrowing. I actually, like, am very legitimately thankful for Pete and Project, uh, or I guess I'll just say Projet from now on. Projet. If I really want to tilt them. Um, just, yeah. Just very, very thankful for uh, for their presence there because truly, like, if I didn't have people being like supporting me and people that I could vent to, I might have thrown my computer out the window. It was like that game is legitimately like I feel like that game is like some Dark Souls tier self like sadomasochism. But persevere, we did, and we eventually got there. It was wild. It was wild. Uh, there will be an Ori portion again, probably, maybe after this cube. Well, I'm, like, really enjoying jamming this cube, I'm not gonna lie. But I also want to finish Ori. I kind of have this thing where, like, I don't like playing two games in the same genre simultaneously. And I really want to play inside, but I want to finish Ori before I play inside. I also want to get Ori in the Will of the Wisps, because I've heard that Ori in the Will of the Wisps is actually, like, a very good game. Like, even better than the Ori in the Blind Forest was. And the game is admittedly gorgeous and has amazing music. So, like, as much as it makes you beat your head against the wall, it is also a great game. This hand's really close. This hand's really close. I think it's a keep. I think it's a keep. I would love to draw an untapped land on turn two for the charter course. Um... 
So I could be very greedy and play and like cycle here, but I don't know what I'd really be cycling towards. Like I'd rather just have this land and then draw the land next turn. So I think we're just gonna chill for now. Excusey. Excusey me. Alright, we're just gonna chart. How did, how did I do, by the way, Hannah? Um, is that a statue? Looks pretty suspect here, so I think that's where we're getting rid of. Apparently so, which I do find mildly entertaining. Alright, Sailor of Means online. Which is pretty hype. Uh huh. That's fine. You know, I'm just gonna like eat random cards out of my yard. That that is admittedly going to make my Drake very bad if and when I find it. Um. Block. <laughs> what? <laughs> What just happened? My opponent just two for one themselves to take my Sailor of Means off the table? Like, now granted, Thassa Sailor of Means would have been pretty cool, but like... Keska the fuck just happened? Um, alright, whatever, let's do this. Here, yeah, look, opponent, I'm saving you from having to discard the hand size. Just discard to my 4-4 dragon instead. Yeah, that was, uh, that was suspect. Maybe they thought that it was a punch instead of a fight. Or maybe they've never played it. Oh, I'm gonna get- Oh, I'm so sorry, opponent. Well, this, this game is officially over. I just wanted to put that out there. This game is- This game is now done. This game is now done. Yeah. My opponent understood that, too. Ooh, yeah, that's, uh... I mean, that is literally why we audibled into Nicol Bolas. Is because getting to do that is... Beautiful. Uh, okay, well, what did we learn? We learned that my opponent has a bad understanding of their combat tricks and that they should try to not get mana screwed next game, I guess. Which is to say we didn't really change anything. Again, our deck barely has a sideboard because we spent, like, thousands of picks on lands, which, again, zero regrets, but, uh, yeah. All right, now we are playing for all the marbles. Well, only really for the bonus marbles, I suppose. Um, but still, we are playing for some number, a non-zero number of marbles is what we're doing. Uh, this hand is glorious. I love this hand. Moo Moo Vig? <laughs> what is Moo Moo Vig? Oh, my opponent just mulliganed to five. I mean, I like my chances pretty well against an opponent who mulls the five. I will not lie. Um, now nah, we're gonna ship that. We can do better. Oh, their name is Moo Moo. That's amazing. It's great. I love that. All right, they hit land, land. So like, you know, they're doing it. Um, do I just hold up the scatter, or do I just play the treasure map? I kind of want to play the treasure map. If we get ruined by some 3-drop here, or if they counter this, I guess that's also fine. Alright, they got their value. Good job, Luffy. That's fair. That's fair. We, we went for this slightly greenier line and got medium punished. Wow, they're really doing it. They've actually just, like, really managed to actually get into this game. If we could have countered that Champion of Wits, they might have just been dead immediately. Honestly. Um... Alright, so here we're playing the Rogan Triome and holding up an Essence Scatter, which hopefully will hit. My opponent is doing decent for a Multify right now. Okay, okay. So, land into Clock, I guess, and hope their last card isn't a counter spell as well. Because now I can hold up Scatter again. So I'm going to counter that, and then they're probably going to counter... Oh, they didn't counter the Storm Tamer? 
That's interesting. That's a choice my opponent made, I guess. Uh, sure. Um, I can somehow cast this, which is like kind of like impressive, honestly. Also, this just weirdly blocks their team super well. All right, I mean, they have enough mana that, like, anything they draw from here on out, yeah, like, that's not a bad one for them to have. Okay, land is great. Land is really nice, actually. Um, oh, this is really bad for my opponent. Because now I get to actually bounce that. Or at least try. They can sacri- oh, they, they're just, like, F6-ing their Storm Tamer every time, and I don't really understand why. Yeah, that's really absurd, because yeah, now they don't get to scry and, like, draw cards. I think we're doing it, folks. I mean, my opponent multi five, so it's like not shocking that we're doing it or anything. But like, we're kind of getting there. Uh, no, nobody on the history of the planet has ever wanted to do that. Pete, I regret to inform you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just go eternal, eternal, and then I can hold up. Didn't say please and or drown in the lock. And I can go to combat. Send a 4-4. Four, four. And a 1-4, actually. Ah, yes. That does sound like a good strat, I suppose. Alright. They can internalize this. That is fair. Um, that is probably just going to be their plan next turn, is to make a 4-4 and hope that that's good enough. I can't counter it. Um, which is, yeah, which is interesting. That might get them back into this game, because they get to draw four. They'll draw their card for turn. They'll get to draw their card for turn, and then draw four discard two. So they'll actually, like, they'll be tapped out, but that'll leave them with three cards in hand. Which means, okay, it looks like they bottom bottomed there. But they're not out of it. They're not out of it. Oh, they actually needed a, they actually needed the land for that. That's interesting. Um, I think this works. I think this works. I think they actually just have to draw because I think the power is now zero, and I think they just have to discard all the cards because it depends on whether it checks last known or whether it checks existing. Because right now it's power is zero because it's not there. Oh no, okay, apparently that's not what happens. But I was gonna do that anyway, to be fair. Um I would have definitely just done that regardless. Uh let's just ship with the squad, I guess. Again, it's gonna be like pretty hard to lose from behind a Disney say please. I was planning on killing it regardless, because it is still a 4-4, and so I figured it was worth checking to see if that worked. Turns out it didn't, but, like, NBD. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. All right. I feel confident stating that I believe we've won this game. Um, I accept. If they want to kill my clock, that is fine. Mm. That one, I'm a. Oh God, do I even care? I honestly no. That like that can also happen. I think. Like, I just genuinely don't think I care. Uh-huh. Alright, how much mana do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I can't quite do both things. That feels bad, man. Oh, that's lame. All right. Uh, so what do I actually want then? Do I just... 
I guess I'll play the Thassa because the Golos... Yeah, the Golos is just going to die to one of these Brontodons. So I'll just play the Thassa. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Go to combat. And then I'm going to swing with the Drake. And the Flyer. And that'll be good. Um, then I can go to end step. I think I just blinked the Denova Horror. Make them discard their last card. I kind of want to juke them into trying to kill my clock. Because I actually kind of don't want them, my clock to go off. Oh, or they're just going to sack that instead? Sure. That's fair. That's fair. I still kind of want to juke them into killing my clock here. Oh, they just didn't care. That's interesting, but also fine, I think. Oh, and I just drew into, like, all my counter spells again. Jeez, my opponent is not catching a break here. My opponent is not catching a break here. Just classic drew all of my counter spells. Literally all four of them. <sighs> Alright. Well, my opponent doesn't know it yet, but they are very dead. Sure. <laughs> Maybe I should have to discard a card to do that, too. So, like... All right, all right, good shit, good shit. All right, that was actually the three zero. That was actually the three zero. Bit of a nail biter in the middle against that what that like really really good white blue, uh, black aggro uh, light gain deck rather. Um, but man, I am very happy to have trophied with this deck because this deck was basically just, just like a gigantic meme, but like also Loki a good meme, which is kind of the best sort of meme really. We even literally had the Sailor of Memes. Hey, thanks for the cheer and anchor. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. All right, and the Mythic upgrade again. Ooh. See? All according to plan. <laughs>